but on some level, that's what makes this very interesting. Right? Yeah. Bottom line is this. They'll find a way, and the tunnel is still down there, right? Though tales of buried treasure seem like fairy tale stories, the legendary treasure hidden at Oaks Island is real. There's not much information on what this legendary treasure consists of, except that it's potentially worth millions of dollars. Yet the island still attracts tons of treasure hunters, archaeologists, and prominent individuals attempting to unlock its secrets. In the process of the final excavation of Oak Island, scientists made a chilling discovery that might change our total understanding of the island. What exactly did they find? Join us as we uncover what scientists just discovered at Oak Island that shocked the world. Discoveries in the legendary Money Pit. When discussing the legend of the Money Pit on Oak Island, the name Daniel McGuinness comes to the table. In 1795, Daniel made this unintentional discovery while on a fishing trip to Oak Island. While exploring the area, he noticed an unusual slump in the earth near an old oak tree, which made marks similar to those made by ropes. Fascinated by tales of pirates burying their treasure underground, the 16-year-old Daniel decided to investigate further. He returned the following date with his two friends armed with picks and shovels for digging. As they dug deeper into the earth, they met a layer of flagstones at a depth of 145 meters. Under the flagstones, they found a series of logs arranged at intervals of 3 meters, 6 meters, and 9 meters. The task became increasingly challenging after they removed the logs, and due to their limited equipment, they had to put the work on hold. They couldn't make it back to the island until nine years later, this time armed with financial backing from a local businessman and a more extensive workforce. Once again, the digging commenced with everyone involved, eagerly anticipating the riches they believed lay buried beneath. As they continued excavating, they met additional layers of oak log platforms at varying depths. At a depth of 27.4 meters, they reached a stone slab labeled with inscriptions. With great anticipation, they removed the slab hoping to uncover the long-awaited treasure. But they were met with disappointment as more logs were beneath the slab. As night fell, the tired workers decided to resume their activities the next morning which happened to be a Sunday. However, by the time they returned to the island on Monday, they were shocked because the shaft had been flooded with seawater. Disappointed, they temporarily abandoned the excavation to return to their farming duties with the plan to return in the spring. During this break, they dug a separate shaft to allow the seawater to drain from the pit. Unfortunately, the new shaft collapsed, nearly burying the men in the water. At this point, the group reluctantly gave up their quest for the hidden treasure. Several companies including the Oak Island Association, Trip Company, Halifax Company, Old Gold Salvage G Group, and Triton Alliance invested millions in labor and equipment to solve the mystery. Even politicians and celebrities like Franklin D. Roosevelt, Errol Flynn, and John Wayne participated. However, most treasure seekers had to give up after discovering more shafts and artifacts, but no treasure trove. The island's treasure is thought to be tied to, among other things, the legendary 17th century Scottish pirate Captain Kidd, the English playwright William Shakespeare, or the Knights Templar, an ancient order of soldiers who amassed significant money and influence. It is thought that such wealth was hidden in the fabled Holy Grail. Whatever the origin of the treasure, the journey to the island remained a mystery. In the years thereafter, it has been impossible to distinguish between fact and myth because existing history has been kept primarily through hearsay and supposition, not to mention the likelihood of treasure hunters circulating false information to throw others off guard. Numerous treasure hunters believe they drilled into a large vault in the money pit that is over 100 feet deep. Undoubtedly, the majority of what has been excavated from the pit and its surroundings has historical significance rather than monetary value. Some objects offer enticing indications about undiscovered wealth, while others reveal new riddles. According to a letter made in the mid-19th century by treasure hunter Jotham B. McCulley, an earlier digger purportedly discovered a stone in the hole in 1804 at a depth of approximately 90 feet. The stone, which is around 2 to 3 feet long and 12 to 16 inches wide, resembles black Swedish granite with an olive hue and is not native to the area. The stone contains strange symbols, the interpretations of which have aroused passionate debate. According to one hypothesis, the stone was carved with encoded symbols representing English text. 
One such translation reads, 40 feet below 2 million pounds is buried. Other researchers, however, believe it was intended to signify France and that the emblems were associated with the Knights Templar. However, the stone has not been discovered since the early 1900s. A dig in the pit also turned up fragments of human bone dating back to the 17th century. The DNA test reveals that these bones belong to two people, one of European heritage and one of Middle Eastern descent. Shards of crockery were discovered 192 feet beneath. There has never been another human-made object found at that depth on Oak Island. The imitation of Chinese porcelain on these hand-painted pearlware ceramic fragments indicates that they were manufactured between 1700 and 1800 in Staffordshire, England. In 2022, geoscientist Dr. Ian Spooner and his colleagues, chemist Dr. Matt Lukeman, and hydrogeologist Dr. Fred Michael, analyzed water in previously drilled boreholes in the Money Pit region. Surprisingly, an unusual deposit of gold appears to be buried between 80 and 120 feet deep and was discovered, concentrated in a 20 by 20 foot area fondly known as the baby blob. While undertaking a core drilling operation to determine the source of the precious metals found in the money pit area, the crew discovered previously unknown tunnels at a depth of 95 feet in three different boreholes. They discovered that it flows east-west under the garden shaft, straight past the baby blip, where high trace evidence of gold and silver has been observed between 80 and 120 feet below ground. Another discovery is the 82-foot deep structure, which experts initially thought was an 18th century search shaft, but it is critical in addressing the problems surrounding Oak Island. In 2022, a wood sample was carbon dated to 1735, 60 years before the first money pit was found. Subsequent water sample testing in the shaft revealed elevated quantities of gold. The fellowship is currently collaborating with Duma Contracting Limited to rebuild the structure so that it can be utilized to search deep underground for new clues and riches. The ongoing examination has also uncovered traces of gold in additional wood samples recovered from the shaft. The structure is now known to be just a few feet above the suspected treasure tunnel, which is located at a depth of 95 feet. The question of who buried the treasure in the money pit has fueled numerous theories and opinions over the years. So many ideas about this hidden treasure abound, so sit back to enjoy the tale. Different theories on the hidden treasure. The question of who buried the treasure in the money pit has fueled numerous ideas and theories over the years. Among the earliest and most enduring theories is that the treasure is linked to the notorious pirate captain Kidd, famous for his exploits in the Indian Ocean and Caribbean Sea. According to this belief, Captain Kidd had ill-gotten riches on Oaks Island before he was captured and executed in 1701, but it's believed he left behind a cryptic clue inscribed on a stone, which was said to bear mysterious symbols that when read will reveal the message 40 feet below where 2 million pounds are buried. This theory also suggests that some of life's surviving crew members may have returned to Oak Island to retrieve the treasure only to be hindered by the planned bobby traps that cause the pit to flood with seawater. Interestingly, this idea attracts so much historical support from Kidd's documented connections to Nova Scotia, his visit to nearby Block Island, and his alleged confession of concealing the precious stones before his execution. Some people cannot believe that the money pit contains no wealth. Geologist Stephen Aitken and skeptic Joe Nickel are attempting to turn the narrative around. Aitken, who is an expert in carbonate geology, believes the money pit is a sinkhole. The surrounding rock consists of limestone and cement, which can be absorptive and accessible. He believes the bedrock scattered and created a cave whose roof has collapsed. There is evidence to back up his theory, which was the story of Sophie Sellers. Sophie was the woman who died in 1978 after sinking into the dirt near the money pit. Another famous theory surrounding the Oak Island treasure revolves around the Knights Templar, a medieval order of warrior monks known for their roles in the Crusades and the safeguarding of Jerusalem. As the theory goes, the Templars faced persecution and dissolution by the Pope, and the King of France in 1311, which led to their escape from Europe with their sacred relics and treasures. Some supporters posit that a faction of Templars may have embarked on a transatlantic voyage, ultimately reaching Oak Island, where they buried their artifacts in the money pit. 
There are several opinions regarding the nature of these antiques, with some suggesting they could include the Holy Grail, the Ark of the Covenant, or even the original manuscripts of William Shakespeare. The third intriguing theory suggests that the treasure hidden within the money pit may have ties to the British Empire. According to this hypothesis, Oak Island served as a covert naval base or a strategic military depot during the colonial wars. It's believed that the British constructed an elaborate underground tunnel system on the island to stockpile critical assets like weapons, ammunition, gold, or vital documents pertinent to their interest in North America. With this context, it seems the money pit was intentionally designed as a part of this security measure, including mechanics to flood the pit. As a safeguard, the stone marked with mysterious symbols might have served as a marker for British agents operating on the island. Supporters of this theory capture some support from both historical and archaeological findings, including the discovery of British coins, buttons, musket balls, and other antiques on Oak Island. Additionally, certain engineering elements of the pit seem to align with British military construction practices. Various explanations have emerged concerning the nature of the treasure within the money pit, each thrilling in its own right. One of the most enduring and popular theories proposes that the pit contains a huge amount of pirate treasure. It's well documented that notorious pirates like Captain Kidd and Blackbeard operated in the waters around Nova Scotia. There's also the intriguing notion that the treasure could be the lost jewels of Marie Antoinette. Amid the French Revolution, it's believed that when Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette fled Paris in 1791, they carried their most valuable gems and diamonds with them. However, none of the jewelry was found in their bags during their stop in Varennes. It is thought that Marie's lady-in-waiting, who had avoided capture, snuggled the jewels across the Atlantic with the assistance of the French Navy. They were then hidden in the money pit for safety. However, these treasures never resurfaced, sparking speculation that they might have found their way to the New World. Maybe the money pit is the final resting place for these royal heirlooms. Another aspect of this assumption is that the money pit's true value doesn't reside in gold or jewels, but in something less tangible. There have been suggestions that the pit may contain manuscripts that could hold evidence supporting the theory that Sir Francis Bacon was the true author of some, if not all, of Shakespeare's plays. Some people believe that Bacon, known for his interest in ciphers and hidden knowledge, might have used the pit as a dump for valuable text or other records that reveal ancient wisdom. In addition, Aztec gold may be hidden within the depths of the money out. The immense wealth of these ancient was looted by Spanish thieves and could probably find its way to Oak Island. Vikings were among the first to visit North America's eastern coastlines. While their access to Oak Island is unquestionable, their ownership of the talents and priceless treasure required to create the money pit is. Still, the thought of an early Viking ship, possibly stranded and carrying some form of riches, raises the possibility of Viking riches being buried in the money pit. It cannot be disproven. Thus, it remains a possibility, like with many other theories. Throughout the years, numerous treasure hunters have reported having weird experiences when approaching the money pit location. Dark shadows, weird sounds, and unexpected disasters are common. This has raised the possibility that whatever was buried there will not be released. The flooding tunnels and extreme efforts intended to keep the wealth from being discovered were designed to guard and ensure that whatever evil monster might be imprisoned there is never permitted to escape. According to some theories, survivors who intercepted the wanted treasures might have secreted a worthy portion of it within the money pit to safeguard it from further discovery. However, recent developments have added another perspective of excitement to the treasure hunting tale on Oaks Island, especially in regards to the money pit. This joy can be linked to a scientific survey conducted by Dr. Ian Spooner, a geoscientist affiliated with Acadia University. Dr. Spooner used a technique called X-ray fluorescence, XRF, to analyze soil samples obtained from various boreholes in the money pit area. The results of this analysis end in a remarkable discovery. Some soil samples contain notably high levels of silver. This raised guesses that a significant deposit of silver coins could be hidden beneath the island's surface. 
the importance of this study cannot be overstated. Silver has a long and rich history as one of the most valuable and desirable metals. It has been used as currency, decorated jewelry, and art. It has played important roles in various historical events. Its presence on Oaks Island suggests that treasure seekers may be close to uncovering the origins of the mysterious signals and structures they have encountered in the Money Pit area. Also, Silver's relationship with the prevailing assumptions about the treasure's nature and origin, which includes pirate treasures, Knight Templar relics, and Marie Antoinette's jewels adds future aspects to the findings. The team plans to advance their exploration and excavation efforts in the Money Pit area through advanced tools and methods to precisely locate and identify silver deposits. The team also hopes to unearth additional clues and objects that might shed light on the identity of those responsible for burying the treasure, the time it was buried, and the motivations behind it. Their resolve remains unwavering, driven by the quest to solve one of history's greatest secrets and to share their findings with the world. Despite the odd origins of the riches hidden within the depths of Oak Island, numerous eager explorers have not been disappointed with going on the quests to unearth its secrets. Among these explorers were individuals as diverse as the American president and a prominent Hollywood actor. In more recent times, the Lagina brothers, Rick and Marty Lagina from Michigan, have taken center stage as the current owners and operators of the majority of the island. They have gained recognition as the stars of The Curse of Oak Island, a series featured on the History Channel that hits their ongoing journey to unlock the island's hidden secrets. Throughout their exploration, the Lagina brothers have made noteworthy findings such as bone fragments, coins, jewels, pottery, and various metal objects. Yet despite these consistent efforts to reveal Oak Island's mysteries, a shadow has loomed over the treasure hunters in ye form of the curse of Oak Island. This threatening legend suggests that the treasure's unveiling is linked to the requirements that seven individuals must perish before it can be found. Discovering antiques on Oak Island will continue to be a topic of discussion for enthusiasts. What other discoveries have been found on this marked island? Amazing discoveries at Oak Island. The discovery of beams dates back to 1771, two decades before the first discovery of the Money Pit. This indicates that there was activity in Smith's Cove earlier than previously thought. Tests indicate that the wood beams were present for over two decades before the discovery of the money pit. A potential entry to one of the five stone box drains has been discovered in the Smith's Coven. The trio firm discovered these in 1850 and may have converted them into a tunnel designed to fill the money. In 2022, archaeologist Laird Niven investigated a stone wall that differed from other stone barriers built by 19th century farmers on Oak Island. It has been hypothesized that it is not solely of Portuguese origin origin, but the carbon dating charcoal discovered within it suggests that it was produced between 1474 and 1638. Another discovery was a wrought iron spike dated from the late 1600s to the early 1700s, which is thought to have been used to secure decking boards on board the Spanish galleon. This discovery could provide additional evidence that a Spanish galleon and its treasure have sunk in the Oak Island Swamp. The Laginas discovered two iron artifacts in Lot 21, located at the island's western end. These were later identified as swagas, a sort of blacksmith tool that dates back to the 14th century. The team identified the equipment as proof of intensive mining activity on the island. The scientists discovered two fragments in Borehole H8, in the Money Pit area. These were initially identified as human, and later testing revealed that one was of European descent and the other Middle Eastern. A piece of chain was discovered in a nearby borehole, along with some bone. The researchers connected this to a hypothesis that, once the treasure was hidden, those of the slaves who excavated the tunnel were chained and buried alive deep underground, where their vengeful ghosts would guard the vault and curse any explorers. While excavating in the late 1800s, the Oak Island Treasure Company discovered a cement-like level 153 feet underground. After drilling through, they discovered a little parchment. According to one hypothesis, this parchment came from a collection of Shakespeare's lost manuscripts, which were concealed on Oak Island by the genuine author of Shakespeare's plays, Francis Bacon, a 16th century scientist, writer, adventurer, and friend of the Bard. Decades later, the Laginas found little pieces of paper, 
with leather binding among the H8 loot near the pit. It's assumed to be additional pieces from Shakespeare's lost manuscripts. In 2015, a fisherman discovered a Roman sword in the waters near Oak Island. Though this finding would have changed history by putting Romans in North America, it was too good to be true. In truth, the sword was a modern duplicate of a Roman sword, not the original from 2000 years ago. Damming and draining at Smith's Cove revealed a U-shaped wooden formation. A closer look revealed Roman numerals. Tree ring studies revealed that the structure was built around 1769, 25 years before the discovery of the money pit, and the scientists speculated that it could have been one of the original treasure holes. A lead cross was found near Smith's Cove. The team then visited Dom Prison in France, where Templar Knights were once imprisoned. Religious sculptures dotted the wall. Markings included the Virgin Mary, Jesus, and a crucifix that was nearly identical to the one found on the island. There were other Templar discoveries. One example is a crossbow bolt discovered in Lot 26 on the southwest shore. After a thorough analysis, the researchers determined that it was medieval, dating back to the 13th century, and of Templar origin. The swamp also included a silver ring. This was reported to a competent gemologist, who determined that two repairs had been undertaken, one to make the ring larger, and one to make it smaller. Its chiseled floral design indicated 1730s European origin, likely Spanish. Another idea holds that the swamp may conceal a sunken ship, Simply said, a treasure ship docked and unloaded its cargo. The ship was then grounded and destroyed in an attempt to eliminate evidence. The researchers realized this connection after discovering a ship brace in the swamp that had been severely stressed and had been burned in a furious fire. After conversing with a blacksmith, they learned that such an occurrence would most likely have occurred in the 18th century. Several ship spikes have also been found throughout the island from the swamp to the money pit. While searching for antiques on Lot 24, the team discovered coins, buttons, and even a firearm part. Samuel Ball, a citizen of the region, owns it. Ball was born a slave in South Carolina in 1764, but he eventually gained freedom by fighting for the British in the American Revolution and after he relocated to settle in Nova Scotia. In 1786, he bought a four-acre tract on Oaks Island for a high sum. A theory suggests he may have unearthed wealth and kept mute about it. A man-made drainage system that uses an ancient method of rock placement to govern water flow without the use of pumps or pipes was discovered. Gary Drayton discovered a wrought iron hinge that mimics the lovely hinges on Fred Nolan's house. Tests indicate that it dates from the early 1600s to the 1700s and may be a hinge meant for a particularly thick door. In 1970, a treasure hunter named Dan Blankenship uncovered a U-shaped structure while building a coffer dam at Smith's Cove. The structure the structure features a notch every four feet, each with its Roman numeral. The wooden construction dates back to 1769. An ornamental keyhole was discovered on a metal detector expedition on a property owned by Fred Nolan's son, Tom Nolan. Nolan claimed treasure had been uncovered in at least 11 shallow areas near Oak Island. Gary Drayton uncovered two King Charles II Britannia coins from the 17th century. They were made in the 1600s, more than a century before the money pit was found in 1795. An ornamental lead piece was discovered near Daniel McGuinness's previous home on Lot 21. Its design is similar to the antique metallurgy method known as Cloison. This treasure contains the same lead isotope as the lead cross, indicating that both were mined before the 15th century. The gold-plated brooch was the first proven gold found on Oak Island, dating back to the 14th century. It's uncertain whether this brooch is buried treasure or was previously possessed by a local. The discovery of a tag with the name Ball inscribed on it could have belonged to Samuel Ball a freed American slave who became one of Nova Scotia's richest landowners. A French military cap badge discovered on Lot 21 could be made of zinc and was originally worn by a French grenadier in the 1700s. This relic could be confirmation of the 1746 Duc d'Anville expedition, which included 97 ships and 13,000 troops led by a member of the ancient royal La Rochefoucauld dynasty. While looking through Lot 2, Gary Drayton came across a cartwheel penny showing King George III from 1797. A gemstone brooch was discovered while metal detectors were deployed on Lot 8. The brooch dates back to the 16th century 
and is recognized as the Laginus and their team's first valuable treasure discovery. The Copper Relic, discovered by Gary Drayton and Jack Begley in 2022, is still one of the team's most intriguing top pocket finds. It features weird symbols imprinted into its design and is made up of a significant amount of copper and much smaller, equal parts of iron and zinc. The Lagina team found what seemed to be a man-made stone tunnel near Samuel Ball's house. It's assumed that it could have led to a potential vault with Ball's money hidden. Later, the brothers were given a 14th century map of the island, which shows a hatch on the western side. The team investigated the area and uncovered a square-shaped opening. It might be a rear entry to the money pit. Researchers found a silver button at Isaac Point, which could date back to the mid-18th century. However, it was not a peculiar discovery. It probably belonged to a farmer. Before the findings of the money pit, the island was primarily used to keep cattle away from predators. What are your opinions on those historical artifacts and relics found? Leave your comment below in the comment section. While at it, don't forget to like to share and subscribe for more exciting stories.